Hey folks, we've got the brand new Boss Katana Generation 3 on deck today. It's very nice to see a new facelift on a very popular line of amps. It's got a number of new features and improvements, so let's take a quick look. All the amps from the previous generation are still on board, but they've been refined and improved. We also have a new pushed amp, which sits between clean and crunch, which is what you would hope you play in the intro. Also, we've got updated connectivity with USB-C, stereo headphone output, and a new Bluetooth compatibility with an optional Bluetooth module so you can finally edit your tones from your smart device on the fly. So a question we get asked all the time in the shop is, what's the difference between the Katana 50 and the Katana 50EX? There's some important differences, so let me show you. So check in the back of the EX here. As you can see, we've got the line output. There's a record output, which doubles as a headphone out. Whereas on the standard 50, there's just a record output that doubles up as a headphone out. The record output mutes the speaker, whereas the line output does not. So say if you're playing a gig and you wanted to run a line into the desk, the EX allows you to do this without muting the speaker. While we're on the back of the EX here, as you can see, it's compatible with the GAFC footswitch, which the standard 50 is not. With the GAFC, you're able to recall your favorite tones and effects with a stomp of a switch. Aesthetically, the EX has a grey grill cloth, whereas the 50 has a black. And there's also a new improved speaker in the EX, which I really loved. I feel it just had a lot more of a tighter feel, a lot more detail, was much more fun to play through. So just to be clear, both amps give you access to the same amplifiers and effects although the EX provides a lot more gig-ready features. So if you plan on playing gigs, the Katana EX is definitely worth it for the added features. However, if you're just looking for a home amp, you can't go wrong with the standard 50. I'm really digging this new push amp personally. I'm a fan of old Fender amplifiers. I love the way they break up, the touch sensitivity, and I love the way they sag. And the Generation 3 certainly captures that. I'll show you now. when I'm playing lightly, it captures all that detail really well. And then when you dig in, it starts to sag. The Gen 2 was one of the most popular amps in the world. I'm willing to bet the Generation 3 will definitely carry on that legacy. So if you're in the market for an affordable and capable amp, feel free to pop into the store today and give one a whirl. Thanks so much, my name's Phil, and we'll catch you.